Well, hello everybody. We are back. So this is the perfect city one on a uh, point eight, and it's holding its own. I kind of wanted to show you guys um, how desirability works now. Really cool how they've changed everything. So you can see it's getting plus ten percent from seven shrubberies within the vicinity, the small paved garden, the garden path. Um, two hospitals that's getting a bonus from here because it's next to it's in between two the bakery is three percent and i've noticed that the bakery percentage is variable uh, in one house it was like 18 percent so i think it's dependent upon maybe some factor like some factors that i'm not too i don't know what's going on with the bakery basically here it's four percent so it just, but it gives you a breakdown. It's really cool. It gives you a breakdown. Now they, they intentionally did remove the the plaza, small plaza bonus. As you can see, it's a neutral desirability. That was intended. They wanted to remove the stacking of plazas. What's funny is I can actually place it on the road now, which I couldn't before. Interesting. Um, but medium plazas still give a pretty sizable bonus. Um, another change they they made is that you can see the desirability bonus as you place things now as a percentage increase rather than having to calculate that by hand um so i was able to pretty much get everything i think there's like maybe one building like right here but you could just remove that that building and if i remove that building and i replace it with like a flag or something it's fine and then the outer areas also fine but the issue that this brings up is that the desirability bonuses are fluctuating and i think it's based on a couple of things like the pub and the bakery i think however those are interacting change but it's really cool because you can see that the grand theater gives 15 percent the school gives 10 percent the large park gives uh 15 statue large statue nine but all of it's based on proximity so the closer you are the better of course um what that's gonna mean for the future of this game is most likely you're gonna have you're gonna you're gonna try to like figure out what the best setup is for your your market because you're gonna want to fit as many houses as you possibly can and then what you're gonna probably end up doing is doing a lot of desirability bonuses like on the corner here which incidentally was how i set up the perfect city one and not my other builds so that is why this build <laughs> this build stood the test of time because I, I i made this build to look nicer and that actually worked um like i had this extra area for things to be built so there's i can add any like i can add the new flagpole over here if i wanted to if i needed a bonus here um where I just removed that. Unfortunately, the, the, the pole dancer guy is um, 4x4. But yeah, I could put that here. I can... And then there's other lots of stuff. Um, it, what's weird is that the, sh the shrubberies stack. So I think small gardens stack too. So stuff... They, they completely changed the game. Stuff like... those That stuff did not stack before. Now it does. So who knows what they're going to decide to do. Um... But I, I, I can say with some degree of confidence that things like the flower urn, which are new, that you could, in theory, stack enough individual different items to probably go with the design that like has rows between houses, which is how this was. So all of these shrubberies that I placed at the time, just because I thought they looked cool, incidentally are what saved this design, because I'm getting plus 12% from having nine of those. So I think that future builds are going to look a lot different. Roads are pretty much worthless now. Um, you only really need main roads for people to move. So like maybe one side road and then the rest of this, like I probably will start spacing out all my houses with shrubberies in between. Um, and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with markets because I don't like having multiple markets. You, there's no, there's no technical loss in revenue as long as you have a market covering an area and two people for a residential area isn't the deal. The problem I have is the loss of efficiency in luxury goods. What you get happening is that certain markets hoard more luxury goods than the others. So 
say this had all the pottery. So all these people over here don't have pottery. There's just there's just all these inefficiencies between the markets uh, ho hoarding certain goods. Um, so ha ha how to how to balance that is going to be the question. I think potentially what I'll have to do is bring candle product put instead of having candle production over an industrial area, have one candle produ producer per market area so that that is the first place they bring the goods. Um, but then how do you do that with furniture? How do you do that with glassware? Like, are, am I going to have individual industrial areas for everything? Um, I don't know. So there's a lot of unknowns. I'm probably going to stay away from making t too much of an elaborate build until they get a basic idea of what they're going to do because they've completely changed the game to the point where all of my prior builds are now completely broken except for this this one right here which is funny but with that in mind um i think i could cr i think what this means is i need to create more f more flexible builds all of my other builds are very rigid they're based upon perfect placement perfect this or that they don't have a lot of flexibility this one does because it has all this beautification room. So I think going forward, my future designs are going to be based upon that. But who knows? They, they could change. They could make it so markets are bigger. They could make it so markets are smaller. Um, the game is the game has a lot of a lot of changes coming to it. So um, I'm just going to enjoy the game, of course. But uh, it definitely is a little upsetting that uh they got rid of the small plazas because here's the deal shrubbery stacks so it's like what you want me to just like tear down all i could just tear down all my roads and replace them with shrubberies um that, that doesn't look that's stupid right like but yeah see i just i just tore down that one that one house that sucked and my build is viable again plus i had all this extra room on the side so that's what i think i'm going to I mean, technically speaking, the perfect, the perfect city one is is the poster child of how to build a new city. So, I mean, like, thankfully, one of my builds held up, and I think that this build will always hold up. Um, it has the most flexibility of any of them. So, resources. Hmm. So, amenities and services. We got the new festival pole which has a huge radius uh i can't place it anywhere here because it's oh it's all wow look at that that's really good um most likely what you're going to want to do is have your your markets and then have like multiple festival poles i don't think that the festival pole even takes a worker it just kind of stands as on its own so i wouldn't include it i would just make i would just make multiples of these But yeah, no, it's it's stood up. It's stood up. And a lot of it's coming from just everything. The improved well, the flower, the hospital, the grand theater, the flagpole that I built over there somewhere. Oh yeah, we're here. And I can upgrade this flagpole, and that's going to be a big one. Flagpole is probably going to be one of your better ones, even though it's kind of big. Um, we'll see what it does upgraded. But we're gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna have to play around with this. Um, I mean, I guess I could just copy. I guess I could just copy the Perfect City one again. I've already, yeah. So I've already made. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've already made the Perfect City one. It's it's funny that I made the Perfect City two. Because it was better than this, and now the original design is better. It's better than anything I can make. I I literally can't perfect this any more than I already did. Now, there's there's everything is exactly placed how it needs to be placed. Um, but these medium plazas actually do give desirability bonus, by the way. Just not the small ones.
Medium paved garden, 6%. Medium brick plaza, 5%. Dang, these things are, these things are nice. That medium paved garden. So they increase, they increase the range of the gardens. Ooh, they, yeah, they've made some pretty. Wow. And that's a two by two. You could have. Oh, man. Yeah. That's, that's quite a bonus. It's looking like you kind of want, like, this 2x2, two two, it's looking like, if I were to, like, re redo some of this stuff, I would probably have a 2x2 two two on the outside of this housing here. All right? Okay, so I can't actually make this design better. I lied. I would probably extend this by 2, and then I would have trees, fences, like, whatever I wanted here, flag like, flagpoles... And then I could stack shrubberies and gardens. And so you get a huge bonus on your on your outer area from that. Which is good because your inner area is going to get the bo more of the bonus from the hospital and uh, the school. So having an outer area to catch all that is pretty good. Yeah, like I would remove... I don't... You know, my desirability bonus is really high. And I don't particularly know why school market altar pub proved well hospital the grand theater eh, maybe it's not as hard as i thought and the large parks are definitely critical i don't even think i have statues in this yeah like small statues it's not everyone here Hmm. Alright, so Perfect City is good. Now we're gonna go look at uh, another one. Alright, so we're gonna look at the Harmony builds. It's, uh, okay. Harmony builds gone, gone down the drain. It's not bad, though. I think I could potentially salvage it. But they changed so much. Yeah. I mean, this is actually pretty easy to salvage. All I need to do is just, like, add... Potentially just even this one building right here. That would give me up to 80 and then I just need five. Mm. Yeah, that's not hard actually because I could put the urn here. Yeah, ju just that and an urn. Just that and an urn would, would do it. The problem is is that the whole the whole layout here needs to change. Um, yeah, and I put paving here that can be removed. So this is actually salvageable. Yeah, this could be salvaged. Um, right here, I can already actually see a way to salvage this by, um, spamming small shrubberies. And it doesn't have a small bonus. Okay. So put a small statue and some shrubberies. Got that bad boy situated. Um, these guys on the inside here. The only way I can get these up is if I remove a road or... No, no, not true. Not true. I could place this here. That would do it. That will save it. Um, realistically, I could just destroy something. Like, if I were to remove this stockyard, for instance, I might be able to salvage this whole build just by that. I shouldn't have to do this. Um, this was an awesome. This was a, an awesome one. But I'm losing money crazy fast because I'm I'm losing that stuff. If I could, I mean, actually, if if I could salvage this just with that one building, that's pretty crazy. There's only really a few spots that are bad. Um, yeah. A lot of this could be fixed just by potentially even removing just one of the bad buildings and putting a flagpole down. So, I think I can salvage some of these designs. And I don't need 336 people, like... What's interesting is this building right here sucks. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna get rid of this building. And we're gonna put some decorations there. This guy right here has 84. All right. There we go, we got one and two. <laughs> we're just... Okay, this guy though. Um. This guy's at 83. I can... I can delete this small plaza here. Yeah, the statues don't really stack too well. Um, oh wow, look at the range in that small garden. Almost. Small garden has an incredible range. Yeah, I think, I think spacing out buildings and just putting one layer in between all of them and then cycling all the different desirability like I did with the Perfect City 1 is going to be the way that uh, you can create something that's going to last quite a few patches. So my next build is going to focus on decorations and, and probably not opt like I'll probably have to lose maybe five or six houses in the design, but the designs will have better shelf life. I don't want to ever do what I just did again, <laughs> where I relied too heavily on certain mechanics. So now we can put a flagpole right here. Let's make sure that it's hitting the places it needs to hit. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put a flagpole right here. All right. And then if I upgrade this festive pole, wow, that that did a lot. If I upgrade this festive pole, I bet you I can get this back up. Flower urn. I don't really like this tree, but holy cow, look at that plus. I'm kind of thinking what you want to do is have kind of like an inner garden area almost. It's the flower urn, sorry, the tree. The tree kind of sucks. But look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that radius. Yeah, if you had... All adds up. Alright, we we're going to get this back on track. I have to rethink... Yeah, I have to rethink a lot of stuff. Because I can actually make this work. With very little... Um, very little change. Nine percent from that festivity pole, and that festivity pole hits a lot of areas. So I'm off. I'm off only four percent right there. But that four percent is enough to really screw things up for me. Um, let's see. That will give me one. All right, and this flagpole is gonna hit, and then I'll upgrade the flagpole. I don't know if I'll be able to save those buildings. There's a lot of it. There's just a lot of variables to this now, though. This can be saved it's over here. I mean, what I probably would have done is just push this out one tile more, and then I could just line the sides here with, with freaking uh, flowers and stuff. That's what I did with the perfect city. Because I had a space of two for if you wanted storage, you wanted this or that, you just always had that extra room. Actually, I think I did three tiles. Oh my gosh, so close. Yeah, if I just had one tile. See, these small, these small little park things, they go quite a distance. Yeah, like if you had a spacing between all your houses, you could just... My gosh. Even one road. Because... Uh, no, these only hit one. One away. I'm gonna have to think about that. There's gotta be a, like an optimal way to do this. 
I wonder, I, I am really curious, like, why, I think it's because these guys are out of range of, uh, the altar. I might have to destroy one of these and replace it with an altar. This guy, I don't really understand, because he has so much next to him. I'll do a small park here, and then I can upgrade that small park, just save that building. I'm thinking that this building's gonna have to go. Alright, so I had to destroy two houses to make this work, but I was able to do it. I'll, I'll save everything. This will This will work. This guy over here, though, um... I don't necessarily know how to make him work without... If I just had... Literally, if I just had this one tile over, it would all work. Yeah, I'll have to read his... I'll have to make a better design. Now that I know... I, I mean, before there was no such thing as anything that stacked besides plazas. Now, now um, small shrubberies and small parks stack. So, okay. Yeah, if I place that guy here, so he's... <laughs> this guy's the only... This one guy right there is the only person who doesn't have it. Um, so that means that... That has to be rethought. All right. But that, that will fix it. That will fix that one. This one will be fixed in a second here. At least it better be fixed. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna have to redo this design anyway. Now, overall, it's really cool though. It definitely is gonna change the game a lot. Um, like I think, I think what you're gonna want optimally is is one row in between each um i think you're gonna want like a cross like a cross design instead of having two roads like this you're just gonna have one fluid road one fluid road this way and then everything else is just gonna have you're not gonna have roads you're just gonna have shrubberies and stuff like that yeah and unfortunately the the new fencing doesn't do anything it just looks cool so that's kind of whatever my problem and i asked the dev about this is like you gotta make markets bigger like they should have like six people and they need to they need to be bigger so i could like and it not because like i don't have a problem having multiple markets but they they don't distribute goods very well they don't they don't like i can't set minimum i can't set a minimum and maximum amount that these places store like i can't say you can only have if i could say you can only have 50 glassware, you can only have this. That would solve all of the market problems. Um, but they, they, like, you'll have one market that will hoard all of the glassware, one market that hoards all of this, and that creates inefficiencies in the ability of the houses to upgrade. So it's a huge problem. So by, yeah, getting rid of that and not being able to have compact designs, um, it's going to screw a lot of stuff up. I don't know why these are abandoned right now. Alright, so we we fixed those. It's just this guy over here. And I actually really don't know what to do about that. It would be easy, like I said, if I just had one tile right there. But this is pretty this is pretty solvable. Like I can just indent the design by one. And I don't even think the defenses would need to be changed up. But this isn't an optimal design anymore. It's just I made it work, so... Alright, cool. Well, that's that's fun. Let's try another... Um, I don't know. I think it's enough. I think the perfect city one is going to be the poster child for how you build a city right now. Which is fine, because that's my most popular video anyway, right? <laughs> but I will do I will do a playthrough of the patch here pretty soon, and I want to try to... I want to try to create something that looks really cool, but is also um, feasible. And I do wonder if maybe... Maybe the market situation isn't that big of a deal. Um... 
We'll see. All right. Well, thank you all for watching.